Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Steel Flyer Show. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, have we got a lot of awesome sauce for you guys today. Woo! Oh my gosh. Look, I'm sitting here with two of some of the best people on the planet. I'm sitting here with Pearl O Wisdom. Hey, Pearl O, how you doing, my man? I'm doing amazing, dude. You got it. Uh, absolutely incredible. That's Fantastic. awesome. Sitting there in your Seattle apartment, I see. Kicking I back. I hope, I hope the helicopter noise isn't bothering you. Or no, no, we can't. No, we, we okay, can't. Good. good. We can't. Yeah, hear the helicopter. Good soundproofing. I just had it worked on. Perfect. Perfect. And, oh my gosh, a new announcement, a new awesomeness, a new collaboration. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to announce. John Duncan, off the wall hockey. Hey, hey, how you doing, man? Uh, I am doing great. I am doing great. So excited to be here. This is uh, this is just awesome. Oh man, I'm telling you, I I can't even get over this. Look, when when Perlo came to me and was like, "Hey, man, you got to check this dude out. He's really good." He was like, "You got to listen to him. You got to check him out." And I was like, "All right." So I clicked on over to your page and I listened to your game six. Tampa Bay, Dallas, all three hours and six minutes of it. Okay. Yeah. I'm sick like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow, this guy is sitting down calling the game. I, is, is any one of those teams your favorite teams? I mean, are you like a Tampa Bay favorite guy? Or are you like a, is that one of those teams your favorite? Are you a Dallas guy or something? No, I'm a Bruins fan. I'm from Massachusetts, but I uh, I watch ho- hockey the whole thing. No matter what teams are playing, ho- if hockey's on, I'm there. And I've just always been my favorite sport. Huge, huge fan. Wow. Yeah, man, that's awesome. So like Perlo said, yeah, you got to check this guy. So I, he's calling the game like Tampa Bay or Dallas is one of his favorite teams. <laughs> like you just, it was so smooth. I'm like, oh, oh man. So we had an opportunity to do a show together. Uh, once, uh, like what, a couple days, a couple weeks ago or so. Yeah. Right? A couple we weeks ago. Colorado Avalanche, I believe is what we did. Yes. Yeah. And we are proud to announce here at Steel Flyers that we got some great things here. The NHL Perlo Wisdom page has gone live. That's right, folks. www.steelflyers.com slash link slash NHL Perlo Wisdom is out there live. Also, Thanks to John agreeing and off the wall hockey being part of the Steel Flyers, he's got his website is now live, baby. www.steelflyers.com slash links slash off the wall hockey is now live. Ooh, they're alive. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, oh, yeah. I am so blown away, man. I, I can't get over the fact that we were able to get this done so fast. You guys are such great, great talent. We got a lot of great information coming for you guys. We got shows lined up, especially with Off the Wall Hockey, especially with Pearl of Wisdom. We're going to have some great shows for you guys, hopefully lined up here real soon on prime time and get them out there on live on YouTube. So I wanted to do this show to introduce everybody to you and maybe just kind to break down and and give everybody a little bit of chance to get to know everybody so we're going to start off with our main man john john you said you're from massachusetts right yes that is correct okay and and so your your main team is uh the boston bruins right yep lifelong okay. bruins fan awesome awesome so what got you uh into this what what got you into calling games and 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 got you doing doing what you're doing man i mean you got a great youtube channel out there by the way you got to go check that out like and subscribe off the wall hockey go check that out but what 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 got you do doing that man what 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 got you to this point oh man it's (laughs) it's hard to pinpoint an exact you know any specific thing but um just i've always loved hockey my dad's a huge hockey fan grandfather huge hockey fan played hockey growing up all the way through high school so hockey has just always been a huge passion of mine and my number one favorite sport i love sports in general but hockey's always been it and um man i i I was never in in front of the camera type person. I was always kind of the shy, (laughs) quiet kid in school. So I never in a million years thought that I would be doing anything like YouTube and and that it would ever that it would ever get as big as it has. 
Yeah. And, um, and I, I would say it was, it was the summer before my senior year of college. I was in school for communications, went to Worcester State University up in Worcester, Mass. And I had no clue what I wanted to do after college. I had no idea. I was figuring I'd just get some nine to five marketing thing and just see what happens. But I had no real idea of what I wanted to do. And then I watched a YouTube channel, which everybody knows, the hockey guy. He's probably the biggest hockey YouTuber on YouTube right now. Well over 100K subscribers. He and he, um, I started watching some of his videos and I started looking at it. I'm like, man, this is awesome. Like this guy just turns his webcam on and talks about hockey. It's so, it's not this big <laughs> production. It's not a movie. It's not all this ridiculous stuff. He just talks about hockey. So um, senior year uh, of college, we were heading into the 2017-18 NHL season. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm at school. I got some time when I'm not in class. I can just, why don't I just flip on my webcam and see what happens? So yeah. I started doing some videos and um, it didn't catch on super quick. And I was really, really bad. If you go to my channel and look at my first <laughs> early videos, they are so, they are so bad compared to what I'm able to do now. Yeah. And, um, that's pretty much how it started. And I just stuck with it and kept doing videos, kept getting better and better. And wow. all of a sudden I started doing live streams during the 2018 playoffs. And, um, it just kept growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger. And I kept getting better and better. And, um, now we're here. Awesome. That's awesome. Perlo, my main man. Listen, you, you've you've done everything from uh done all, all the NHL up and down. You're the main man from uh, Edmonton, Canada. How did you get started doing this? Well, I mean, I played from the time I was a kid. Oh, hey, look uh, at that. I, two players. Two players. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I actually was late learning to walk, and six months after I learned how to walk, I was skating. <laughs> so I was just like, forget the walk stuff, just throw some skates on, right? But then, uh, so, so I just loved the game. And when I played, I played, I, I loved the game for fun. I enjoyed the game. For, I wasn't, the problem I had when I was playing was they said that he had to learn how to compete or take things seriously. That actually is said about me and just about everything I do in life. <laughs> so uh, unlike John, unlike John, as you can imagine, I wasn't the, sh the shy, quiet kid in the corner. <laughs> uh, if you uh, never no, happened. No, not still. Perla. No, no. So, He's definitely not anyways, the shy. After I was done hockey, I kind of got lost. I just, you know, I was told you got to get a trade and all that kind of stuff like that. And I did that. Life was kind of boring for a long time. And sort of what, like what John was saying, I, uh, I uh, kind of woke up one day after and started to change my life around. And I saw the hockey guy and I saw guys like John and I saw guys like that. And I thought, gee, I wonder if an old guy like me could turn on and I did. And I didn't even have a laptop, yo. I just had a phone. And I would talk into my phone and do these things or whatever the case may be. And I got a pretty good following and I was having fun. And so I just kept on going. And uh, now um, I'm learning the technology part of it so I can do all this together. And then I met you, man. First, I met Jamie Bascal because oh, I man. was on Twitter. I'm reading all the guys on Twitter that I like trying to find guys that I like and Jamie Basco, I'm looking at stuff. I'm like, this guy's passionate and I'm a Philly fan as well as an Oilers fan. So I messaged him one day and I said, Hey bro, you got, cause he was just starting out. He didn't have many followers. And I said, you got to keep going. This is great stuff. And next thing you know, Jamie's doing like super. And then uh, uh, I kind of dipped down a bit, changed my life again. And then I came back to it. And as soon as Jamie saw me back, he started supporting me. Yeah. And then he introduced me to you and he introduced me yeah. to Joe and all yeah. that stuff like that. <laughs> and then I started getting a little confidence. So I reached out to guys like John and I started establishing what I really wanted to do. What I loved about John is, and he said about the hockey guy, is it's hockey, man. It's pure, <laughs> in-depth talking about hockey not fluff stuff not 
not rumors in the air, although I do some of that a little bit myself, I have to admit. But um, it's actual in-depth hockey, and I loved it. I love now. I my whole life is is to it. I'm just driven and and uh, to do exactly what I want to do, and this is what I want to do. And my whole life has brought me to this point. Now we're gonna have this great website. This uh, I get to work with great people like John. I, I've never been so excited in my life. It, it's fantastic. And we are very blessed to have both you guys on as part of the Steel Flyers crew here. Um, so look, you guys pretty much were like when I when I first jumped onto Twitter and I kind of hooked up with Jamie um, and he was like, wow, man, you should check this guy out. He does podcasts and shows and whatever, whatever. And and then I started watching um, Perlo and he was like, yeah, man, why don't you come on and do a show with me? I was like, all right. I mean, so like if you go back and look at some of my early shows, okay, they were not exactly the best. But Perlo and I just seemed to hit it off right from right from go, okay, where we had just really good rapport and really good back and forth. And our videos express that. You know what I mean? And so that's just kind of how it built. And we kind of all had this idea of like, hey, let's let's try to create this community. And let's try to put together a place where everybody can come to get all of their sports needs. So, like, you can come to Steel Flyers and check out a really cool video about the Colorado Avalanche. Or you could come to Steel Flyers and check out a prognostication show from the great pearls of wisdom. You understand what I'm saying? Or you could come to the Steel Flyers show and check an off-the-wall hockey call in the game. I mean... That's what we're getting to, folks. That's what we're talking about here. That's what this is building to. We're going to have probably two more of these shows because that's right. I got two more people to introduce to you. So we got John from Off the Wall Hockey and Perlo Wisdom. Now, my question is this. What do you guys think? about joining steel flyers i'm gonna ask john first oh man i'm i'm just so excited um i i think that this is something that is obviously just getting off the ground and just getting started and the potential for massive exponential growth here is is really exciting and i think that's one of the biggest things that made me so um, so happy to join this is the fact that this is something I truly believe can become a huge thing and yes. really blow up and get big. Yes. And, and I see the potential in this and I'm just more than happy to be a part of it. And I hope that my content in a way helps drive that growth and helps yeah. make it even bigger and better. Yep. And, um, I'm, I'm just so stoked to be here because I think <laughs> this is going to be, when we really get this off the ground and fully running, this is going to be a exactly. big, big thing. Exactly. No, I agree 100%. And, you know, John, that was one of the reasons why uh, when Perlo came to check this guy out and then we did some uh, some scoping you out and everything. And then I, I had a, a nice talk with you, man. And I'll tell you what, I'm deeply excited to have you on board. I can't wait to start doing some shows with you. I can't wait to learn from you and I can't wait to start doing some collabs with you, especially with Perlo. Uh, I've done quite a few shows with Perlo. I've only done one show with you. Uh, we got some other folks we're going to have get together and, and get on, on this on board too. So Perlo, why do you think this is a good move? What do you, what do you like about joining steel flyers? Well, you mentioned one thing right there, the, the word community. I, I always, what, I struggled a little bit when I first started. I was doing them all by myself, and it was kind of enjoyable and all that. But there was always something kind of missing. And I came from a place where, and when I was young, where community was everything. And I thought, so I started having this desire to build a hockey community of people. And uh, when I brought kind of this idea to you, maybe like just a little seed of an idea to you. I never thought it was going to build out to where it was like. I like ambition this. seed. I ambition. <laughs> yeah, it was just a little seed of an idea. I never thought it was going to build out of this. And what I really love about it is it's not just hockey. It's going to be every sport, every yeah. team out there. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. 
everything it's it's like not just going to be one sport it's not going to be just one team it's going to be everybody working together uh from uh, promoting each other great talent being able to work with each other on a regular basis and uh building together and to me that is what I want. It's not even for a benefit of financial or whatever the case may be. It's to have that family, I think, is great. And I think both people see that. And I think it's something that is really going to be embraced by people in, in, when, when they see that. Um, so I, I love it. I, I talk about it all the time. I'm so excited. I've, I've, it's been, an, <laughs> it's been an, an image in my head that hasn't really formulated into a reality and now that i'm seeing it it's like wow it's this is what i what i i didn't even realize this is what i was talking about right here so yeah i'm pretty I'm pretty stoked i share that. that image with you perlo and that's yeah. why this has come along the way it has because when i first started doing this i said man i'm bored i'm sitting in my house there's nothing to do my biggest dream is to do what john does i want to call hockey games I want yeah. to call football games. I want to be, I want to be that guy that is there that calls the games. Okay, um, it's just been a huge dream of mine, and it's something that I felt. Well, you know, hey, I can, I can buy some some stuff, and I can get a camera, and I can do what you guys did, and just start spouting into a camera, and then started a podcast, and you know, and it just kind of grew from there, and then I started talking to to Jamie, and then I started talking to Perlo, and then we started talking to a whole bunch of other people, and a whole bunch of other people started talking to a bunch of other people, and then, you know, we started meeting people, and then I got to meet John, I got to meet some other folks that we're going to introduce here on another, on another show here, but I don't want to spoil it, you know, because... I, I want to keep it, you know, but we, we met a lot of people like that. And that's exactly the key phrase is this is a community. I want this to be a community where family is first. I want this to be where you feel that you can come and give me your truest, bestest, <laughs> bestest. Yay. Truest, bestest. All right. That's a word. It's a word. It's going to be a word now anyway, mm -hmm. but the truest. And, and most professional and and we want we want it so that um, little Mary and little Johnny um, can sit there with mom and dad and watch the show uh, we have integrity we have uh, something that a lot of things that um, is not out there and that's professionalism that's people that care about what they're talking about that's people that are knowledgeable about what they're talking about and enjoy it and enjoy bringing you that kind of stuff. I mean, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Look how happy they are to give this information to you guys. That's all. I'm just providing the vehicle and the platform, and these guys are the ones that make it all spin because this is the talent. These are the main man's pots and pans right here. So this is what we got going on here at Steel Flyers. We are honored and privileged to have a great pearl of wisdom. We're honored and privileged to have John off the wall hockey. Yeah, man. So we can't wait to start putting some shows out there. Please go to their channels. Go to their website links. Okay. We'll put the links down there uh, so that you guys can go to those links and, and we'll provide all that stuff for you. But check it out. Hit the like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much for joining us. Um, I can't tell you what an honor and a privilege it is to have you guys part of the Steel Flyers group. Um, Perla, why don't you tell the folks how we can get in touch with you and how we can follow you? Well, like you said, we'll get the link down there. All my stuff is on Steel, on the Steel Flyers website. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. And would you just be watching? Because when this live stuff starts flowing, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, it is. It's going to be the best uh, podcasting you've seen live stream on a website ever, period. And if I'm wrong, well... I don't, I, no, I'm no I wrong. think you could say I think it might drop after that. <laughs> yeah, I think you could might drop after that. <laughs> uh, John yeah. off the wall hockey, my brother. Thank you very much for joining us on this. Uh, thank you for giving us a little bit of insight uh, into why you're doing this, and uh, really appreciate you joining us, man. And tell everybody how we can get in touch with you. Uh, yeah, I've got uh, Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube. Obviously, all those links are on my page on SteelFlyers.com. So just Go and uh, go and check out my page on there. 
uh, steelflyers.com slash link slash off the wall hockey. It'll all be there. Um, I just can't, cannot wait to get started here. This, this is going to be some amazing content for, uh, not just from me, but from everyone that we have joining here with steel flyers and everything that, uh, we're putting together here. This is going to be some incredibly good sports content coming your way. So really, sure. really excited to get started. For sure. Yeah, man, we can't wait. Can't wait to get into it. So once again, thank you guys for joining us. We got the great Perlo Wisdom. We got the great John Off the Wall Hockey. I'm your great host, Steel Flyers. And we got lots of great stuff coming for you. So just remember, stay strong, stay safe, and hang tough.